you know, when you drink as long as you've been drinking, as hard as you've been drinking, it changes your brain. And when, when you break this down, this portion of the brain in here is what's called the limbic system. And it's made up of some different things. For example, the cerebellum is involved with memory and coordination. Uh, the nucleus accumbens has to do with what gives you pleasure, which means your motivation, uh, whether you can do it. Uh, the, the prefrontal cortex up here um, is your executive center where you organize and plan and, and have forward thinking. And whenever you go into chronic alcoholism, all of these functions are altered. Your brain is changed. And so someone from the outside can look in and say, why don't you just get up and go do it? Well, the neurotransmitters are really altered for you. And when you say I have seizures if I don't drink, you also have had a seizure while you were drinking. So it's not just on withdrawal, correct? Uh, I, be I believe I was you, told that I had a seizure. You had a seizure with a cop while you were drinking. I have the incident report, I've read it. So it's not just associated with withdrawal. I'm willing to help you. And I'm willing to help you conditionally. In fact, I'm willing to send you to a place called Hannah's House. And Hannah's House is part of Origins Recovery Center. And it is the nation's leading dual diagnosis treatment center. And the reason it's important for you to go to a dual diagnosis treatment center is because if somebody just treats your addiction and they don't deal with your trauma, then your trauma is going to re-trigger using alcohol as a coping mechanism. And I'm willing to do this if you give me 21 meetings in 21 days. I can do that. <clears throat> You go to AA, you get yourself a sponsor, and you have them tell me you've been to 21 meetings in 21 days. You go 11 days and get sick, you start over. You do that, I will book you a flight, and I will fly you to this help. And it's no scam.